you had a good look at this picture. Well, please have a look again. Do you face similar problems while blowing your preforms? Does the stretch rod make an impact which is off center as a result of which the opposite side becomes thin? Would you like to know the reasons for the same so that you never ever face the problem again? Hi, my name is Rohit Agarwal and I am the owner of General Pet Industries, your packaging partner. Over my 20 years of experience in manufacturing PET preforms and caps, we've helped over 100 blowers both in India and Nepal in maintaining their profitability by providing them the right priced preforms. We've educated them on what an off-center gate is and how to solve it. Today, we would be educating you on the same. Firstly, let's discuss what exactly is off-center gates. When the preform is stretched into the blow mold, the center of the base, which is known as the gate, must be placed and held in the center of the bottom insert of the mold. If this does not happen, the side to which the gate is pushed becomes thick, leaving the opposite side thin, and in most cases, bottles become unusable. With bottles becoming lighter and thinner as a result of cost-cutting measures and environmental concerns, it is more important to look into correcting this fault of off-center gates. There are quite a few reasons for this off-center gate problem. Once you identify why it is happening in your machine, it will be easy to rectify the same. Number 1. Incorrect stretch rod adjustment. The stretch rod must push the preform and hold it securely to the bottom of the mold. There should be a minimum difference of 1 mm between the mold and the stretch rod and so that the preform does not lose control in the blowing process. Now we come to number 2 which is pre-blow pressure which is too early or too high. Firstly, you need to know what is pre-blowing. After the preform is heated and put into the mold for blowing, a very low pressure is released which helps in stretching the preform. The purpose of this pre-blow is to stretch the bottle and to give it basic shape and weight at different areas of the bottle depending on heat settings. Only after the, this the high pressure is released which gives the final shape to the bottle as we finally see it. Now, if this high pressure comes early and pushes the preform off the stretch rod, the gate will always go off center. One way of checking if the fault lies here is to set the high pressure time to zero. This would show us the shape of the preform during low blow and would indicate if we need to delay the high blow, uh, blowing pressure or reduce the pre-blow pressure. Number three. Preforms not rotating properly in the oven. You may have observed that the preforms rotate in the oven during the heating process. Over time, due to oil and dirt, there are chances that this rotation is not proper. As a result, heating becomes uneven in those preforms which are not rotating properly. The result of this is that uneven heated preforms when blown may lead to bursts. Number 4. Well in the bottle insert missing. Every blow mold must have a well to accommodate the gate of the injection process. This helps in holding the gate to the center. Well, I hope I was able to explain few reasons why off-center gates happen. Once you identify what your reason is, you will be able to easily solve your problem once and for all. If this video has educated you on solving your off-center gate problem, I request you to please share this video with your fellow blowers and friends. In case you need further help in solving any of the above problems, please leave a comment below or share a picture so that our team could get in touch with you. Also, if you have any other blowing problems for which you need help, please post the picture in the comments section below. Signing off. See you in my next video.